What's up guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Jamari G, and today we're doing the DC2 box on Vone Hub. Let's get into it. Alright, so reading over the box's description, it says, Much like DC1, DC2 is another purposely built vulnerable lab for the purpose of gaining experience in the world of penetration testing. And down here it says, Just like DC1, there are five flags, including the final flag. I'll be doing all five flags in the box, so if you want to skip around, everything will be timestamped in the description bar down below. Skip around, you can go to the root flag, to the third flag, to the second flag, whatever flag you want to do, or you can follow the walkthrough from flag one all the way to the root flag. With saying that, let's get into this box. So first of all, we're going to start the recon like this recon slash sh there we go call it dc2 ip address 192.168.0.131 the tool i just used is going to be linked in the description bar down below in my github it's just a really simple recon tool automates the recon for me so we have dc2 saved as our directory name the ip address is 192.168.0.131 i know that because i started the machine up already just have it running in the background so you can see our in-map scan has gone through we have port 80 open right here we have a wordpress application being 4.7.10 let's go ahead and note that right here so we have WordPress, there we go, note that, WordPress 4.7.10, note that right now. Looking down here, we have port 7744 open for SSH, which is weird because usually port 22 is open for SSH, so that's cool. And looking down at the FF scan, we see we have WP content, WP includes, WP admin and server status, pretty much the standard things you get with the WordPress application, so nothing interesting there just yet. So let's go ahead and log into the actual WordPress, WordPress application. Coming over here, we're gonna go to DC2. There we go. Give it a second to load up. So it says just another WordPress site right here. So that's pretty cool. Scrolling down, we see we have lore if some text. So it doesn't matter to me right now, but we see a flag right here. Let's go ahead and click that. So it says for flag one, your user word list probably won't work. So instead, maybe just be cool. More passwords is always better, but sometimes you just can't win them all. Log in as one to see the next flag. If you can't find it, log in as another. So one thing that jumps out pretty big to me is they didn't use cool you know the normal c-o-o-l they use cool so let's go ahead and look that up real quick so yes yeah, is a tool cool which is a wordless it's a custom wordless generator you can download on your Kali machine but you by just doing sudo app to get installed cool i already have it downloaded so i won't go through that on my machine so we're gonna go ahead and use a cool tool and get a wordless going for this machine so we see ff just stopped already so let's go ahead and go cool and we'll do http slash dc dash two slash call it w word list and then we'll go with numbers and we'll go about for depth we'll go three deep so we see it's going so we see it cool the dc2 where the wordpress application is dash w saving it saving it as word list and we're going to do with numbers and we're going to go three three steps deep so I press ls we see the word list right there we're going to go ahead and use a word list with wps scan because we're using wordpress application so let's go ahead and go wps scan and we'll go for our url there we go, we'll go HTTP slash DC dash two. We'll go dash P word list. And we'll give it about 50 threads, honestly. Actually, we'll give it 70 threads. Just buff it up just a little bit more. There we go. Press enter. Give it a second. So yeah, we're using WordPress application. So we're going to use WPS scan because it's going to be much faster than anything else out there on the market for this kind of thing. So right now we can see the WPS scan, WPS scan is going. We see the WordPress version is 2017. That's pretty cool. That's pretty common, honestly, for 2017 being the WordPress version. Scrolling down a little bit more, we see that it's found users already. So we have the user Tomcat, the user admin, the user Jerry, and we have the user Tom too. And so right now, right, what it's doing is performing a password attack using that word list that we just gave it to try and find login credentials for each of the users, for login credentials for Tom, Jerry, Admin, and Tomcat, and so forth. Let's see if we can try to get an entry point into this WordPress application. So we're going to let this run in the background for a little bit. Let's go ahead and look at that actual word list that we got generated by, by the cool scan. So we're going to go cdvh slash yt slash, not even turn my slashes correctly, yt slash dc dash two, and we'll go sublime wordless. There we go. So yeah, this is the wordless that we got created. We can see it's a lot of words. I think it's like, yeah, 238 words that were given to us. It was pretty fast, pretty straightforward. That's so pretty cool. But everything, every single thing in this wordless is being used to actually find a password within the WordPress application via WPS scan. We see it's still going on. Probably, probably about an hour it's going to take it, but I don't think it should take it that long, honestly. So let's go ahead and look back at the WordPress application while this is going in the background. But actually, no need for that. We just got two passwords back. We got a password for the user Tom and a password for the user Jerry. So let's go ahead and note those down just for later so we don't forget them. So we got Tom right here. 
Tom. Then we got Jerry right here. There we go. There we go. Got to type right. Jerry. Boom, boom. Say their passwords right here. So we got, we got this one right there. There we go. Tom right there. And we got Jerry right here. So that's perfect. Boom. There we go. Save those. Let's go ahead and log in as user Jerry. Copy that right there. Go close that out right there. We'll go WP login. There we go. Jerry. And then we go right here. Password login. Okay, so perfect. Yes, we are in. Pretty standard WordPress application. Over here, you can see Jerry Mouse logged in. That's cool. Down here, we see posts, media, comments. So check out the comments. So we got a comment from the WordPress commenter, just the WordPress application. Nothing pretty pretty out there big or anything. Pages. So we see pages. We have flag two right here and flag one. Let's go ahead and look at flag two. So for flag two, it says, if you can't exploit WordPress and take a shortcut, there is another way. Hope you found another entry point. So basically what that means is we're kind of done with WordPress right now. So let's go ahead and ex exploit SSH because that's on port 774, not a normal port. There's definitely going to be something there for sure to go ahead and finish this box out. Let's go ahead and log in. We'll log in as Jerry SSH. Uh, 192.168.0.131. We're logging as Jerry. Jerry Etz. There we go. Got to denote the port to P7744. There we go. And Jerry's password. You already have it saved. Give it a second. That didn't work. Let's go ahead and make sure I have it saved correctly. There we go. All right. So you can't log in as Jerry, I think. But let's try the user Tom then. Let me go over here. Go Tom. Tom's password. Okay, boom. So we are logged in as a user Tom. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and ls-la. So we see a flag three right there. Let's go ahead and cat out flag three right now. Flag three.txt. All right. So it says, let me show you guys that again. It says r bash cat command not found. So r bash is going to mean we're in a restricted bash environment, which means we can't run certain commands like cat and different commands because we've been restricted to a certain environment. So there's only certain commands you can run. So let's see what commands we can run. Do it ls again. So we see we have user right there. Let's ls user, ls bin, ls slash user, user slash bin. There we go. So we see the commands we can run. We can run the less command, ls, scp for secure uh, secure protocol, and vi for vim. So those are the commands we can run. So let's go ahead and less out flag number three, flag three txt. So we see it says set shell equals slash bin slash bash and then shell. So that's probably what we're going to use to get out of that restricted bash environment. So let's go ahead and note those right now. Go ahead and note that right there. Set shell equals slash bin slash bin slash bash. And we go set or shell actually, my bad. Shell. Boom. Save that. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. Let's go ahead and try vi just for vim. We're going to go set shell equals slash bin slash bash. Make sure I type that in right. There we go. Press enter and then we're going to press shell again and boom. So now we're out of that restricted bash environment because we can press cat and what comes back now is just bash cat command not found, not our bash. So now let's go ahead and fully get out of this restricted shell environment. Let's just have a save right there. Let's see. Restricted shell. Yeah, the boom. So we're going to export the bath, the bash right there. Control V. Let's try it again now. Cat flag cat flag three and so boom now we are out of the restricted bash environment let me make sure actually cat yet so it's, we're out of the restricted bash environment that's awesome because we can use the cat command we can actually actually move forward with this box now so let's go ahead and try sudo dash l sudo dash l password for tom make sure to copy that over there we go tom's password control v so it says sorry user tom may not run sudo on dc2 so let's go ahead and see what's in the home directory see who else is on this machine ls slash home so the user jerry right there so let's go ahead and see what's on jerry's machine ls slash home slash jerry and jerry has flag four so let's go ahead and cat flag four right there there we go so it says good to see that you've made it this far but you're not home yet you still need to get the final flag the only flag that really matters no hints here you're on your own now go on and get out of here so we already know that git is going to be something we're going to exploit just because that's how the, the creator of this box likes to let you know and hint, hint you two things so let's go ahead and sudo dash l sudo dash l right there password for tom i think we have it saved okay so yeah we can't sudo dash l as tom already as we know let's go ahead and try to log in as a user jerry and see what we can do as a user jerry so su jerry let me type it right actually there we go jerry get his password 
Okay, let's try sudo l. All right, so the user Jerry can use sudo l, which is awesome and also perfect. So for the root password, we don't need any password at all. All we need to do is exploit git. And so we're gonna go to GTFO bin and see what they have for us on there. GTFO bins, there we go right there. See, there's an entry for git. Yes, there is an entry for git. And we see down here, we see file read sudo, that's perfect. And so we'll go, go for number B, I'm not number B, we'll go for B. It says this invokes a default pager, which is le which is likely to be less. Other functions may apply. So all you need to do is copy this right here, sudo git dash P help config, copy that over, control V. All right, so now we see we this down here. Last thing we're gonna do is exclamation point slash bin slash sh control v that and now we have a hashtag coming back to us right here which probably means we are root let's go ahead and check who am i root we are the root user so let's go ahead and see what's in root's home directory ls slash root awesome go ahead and cat that out ls slash root slash final flag dot txt there we go awesome so we are done it says welcome congratulations special thanks to all those who have sent me tweets and provided me with feedback it's all greatly appreciated a big shout out to the creator of this box dcau7 the dc series is pretty awesome we definitely working through it on this channel if you like this video go ahead and like it subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you can be alerted when the next video drops i will be dropping another video monday probably won't be a dc uh, dc3 box but i will be dropping another video on monday and also comment down below anything I could have done better, anything you liked about this machine or this walkthrough that I did. That's all I got for you guys. Hack a little things. Have a good day. Bye-bye.